So team, welcome back. Continuation day four for QTP training. So let's get started quickly. Uh, before that, let's see where we are with our plan. Then it's easy for us to go on. So team, yesterday we started writing our basic code, our test scenario, right? So about I would say about 50% is completed on it. We started to parameterize uh, and we started to add the different variables that we will use. And didn't we do a little bit of debugging? I would say about 40% of that is done. Now we have to further do these things, but before we go into VB script functions, I have to introduce a few more things out here. So I'm going to call this as seven. In fact, what I'll do is I'll do this as plus one. That way I don't have to keep changing it every time. And here I will put as loops and conditions. All right, so that's what we will progress uh, in today's session. All right, team. So how are we going to achieve this? Why do I even need it? Let's take a quick look uh, from our previous test and go from there. Okay, here's our code. What we primarily did is we defined variable names. We started assigning different sets of values into it. And we learned that it's a good practice to use dim statement to define the variables at the beginning. And to ensure that I use a dim statement, I have to use the option explicit. It will mandate the requirement to use the dim statements. Now what we could do further is we could take the values from these variables. Variables are like your placeholders, simple reference points to which, why is this not coming up? Which is, okay, one second. No, I cannot draw here, so I would think it's better. Okay, okay, there you go. So variables are like simple place uh, holders. They're like your information on your cell phone where you have a specific name, you can have a number, you can have an email, you can have a name, first name, last name, or the street address and so on. So simple information that you store, these become your variables and this is what we need to use. Why are we using them? So that every time I want to change the code, I can change it at one place. Let's say I want to change now my zip code to 91367. I could change it here. I could change what I expect to they make as uh, different ones and put them out here. Now I can, let's save this before uh, I run as DD file. I don't have any active screen files team. Why I don't have any active screen files? The reason being, is my voice okay for everyone? Team, is my voice all right? Yes? Okay, Anaga, you might have to check at your end, please. All right, the reason I don't need active screen files is we will not do a record on it. That's the reason. When we do a record, typically 